Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Design Your Handbag review. Today I am very, very tired, but because I have makeup on and the lighting is still nice outside, I thought maybe I should just sit down and do a review. I didn't even set up the scene or anything. We'll just sit here and talk like we've been friends forever. As you've seen in the title, this is going to be about the Loewe, I think I pronounced it right, the Loewe puzzle in the small size. Look at this gorgeous piece of art. The craftsmanship, the leather, everything is just so luxurious about it. I got this bag five months ago and have been using it ever since. Not every day, but on a pretty regular basis. So now it's time for me to give you guys a deep dive on this bag and whether you should invest in it. Now, like my other reviews, I will start off by letting you know what was the thought process behind why I got this bag. Um, then I will give you a tour of what I can fit in this bag. I will also introduce you to a um, divider uh, custom made for this bag that I got from Etsy. I actually haven't used it yet, so let's try together and see if it actually fits. And then lastly, I will give you a uh, five month review and impression of this bag. I will include mod shots here and there of me carrying this bag and I'll try to be a bit more energetic if I can, but let's get into it. The few designer handbags I own either have monogram design all over like the Gucci wallet on chain from the Dionysus collection or a large logo or badge just smashed down the center of those bags. Times have changed and I have also changed. As I'm getting older, I want to experience those luxuries in a more subtle way and that's why I looked into the Loewe puzzle bag. For those of you who are in the designer handbag community, then you'll know right away that it's from Loewe. If you're not, then this will just be any other leather bag with a unique design to it. And that's exactly what I wanted. Another reason I chose this bag was for the top handle. Up till now, I don't have a top handle bag and it, it feels very sophisticated to hold a bag like that. It has a nice slouch to it, it has a nice shape, and it's in the perfect tan color. So this was the perfect option for me. I'm not saying I won't use my other bags anymore, but now that I have a more subtle looking bag, I will pick um, which bag to use depending on the occasion, the people I'm going out with, and the setting. I love how I'm able to shorten the strap and carry it sideways like this, which is just sitting above my hips. Uh, with the size of the bag, it looks very vintage carrying it like that. And just looks and it looks professional as well it's a bag that i can carry to work without raising too much attention another bag that i was looking at was the gucci 1955 bag the regular size i also loved how the bag could let me shorten my strap so that i could carry it like this sideways sitting just a little bit above my hips but for that bag i felt like it only looked good with the monogram but I already have a monogram bag here. So I, in the, in the next while, probably won't get any monogram looking bags. Um, the solid colors in the black or the brown looked really good, but I felt like maybe it will look a little bit too old on me. So instead of getting that bag, I ended up getting this one here. What is my impression of the bag after using it for the past five months? Well, this might be an unpopular opinion, but I don't think I liked it as much as I thought it would. And the reason is the leather is way too precious for me. For my other designer bags, I don't really care because the leather is not as soft and they're dark green colors. So it's not as easy to see the scuff marks. But for this one, um, due to the lighter color and due to the softer texture of the leather, it is pretty easy to get scratches. When I'm carrying this around, I have to be so careful with it. I almost have to baby it. And this is what I don't want when I'm buying these luxury items. Like I'm buying for the quality, but I'm also buying for the experience. I don't want to have to constantly worry about it hitting somewhere and getting marks on the front or at the back, but mainly for the front, because at least for the back, I could, I could hold it against my body and no one would see. When it's raining outside, I switch the bag out. When it's crowded outside, I switch out of the bag because I'm afraid that someone might accidentally bump into it. With the top handle, I always get really scared to touch it after I use hand sanitizer. I'm afraid that the alcohol might somehow be very abrasive to the leather. And I have seen other leather top handles where um, 
if you touch it a lot, the handle will, will, will turn into a darker color because of like the dirt or something that's on your finger that makes it dirty. So I would have to look into getting some kind of, I don't know, like a twilly or something to wrap around here so that I can hold on to this without worrying about the discoloration. Um, another thing is the shape of the bag. I haven't really carried too many heavy things in here, but I do notice that if I put a little bit too much weight in here, it's going to sink down here. I don't mind if it's like that, but I have seen pictures of um, influencers on Instagram who have this bag and because it gets so slouchy, sometimes even this part is kind of, um, I don't know, it gets, it, it protrudes in a different, in a weird way. And it looks really slouchy and ugly and I'm kind of afraid of that. So that's why I got the, uh, I got the divider. At least it's going to help it keep its shape. Another thing is, to be honest, this flap is kind of annoying. I have to be so careful when I try to put something in, especially something that's sharp and sharp corners, because I've already noticed some scuff marks along the in in inside of the flap. For example, last time I put in this envelope here and it was kind of sharp. So then I have to be so careful because I'm afraid that it might um, cause more scuff marks or it might poke the bag from the inside, causing it to you know, get marks. Another thing is, and this is the most important thing, I got this bag because I thought I could carry it to work. Um, I could fill it with a lot of things. But really, with this bag being so delicate, would I want to put a water bottle in there that could potentially spill and, and ruin the leather? And would I put uh, pens in there? Because I've had problems in the past where the pen out of nowhere just leaks ink, stain the interior of one of my bags so accidents like this make me scared to put anything into this bag other than my wallet i haven't even put keys in here i even try to avoid putting my keys in here because the inside is made of is, is the canvas material um and it's light in color and keys are very dirty so if i throw that in there it might cause the interior to get really dirty so i don't like that either so overall, I feel like I just have to baby it way too much. But the question is, um, going back in time, would I have picked something else instead? Mm, I don't think so. I think I would have still picked this bag because of how unique the design is, um, how beautiful and elegant this bag looks, how soft the leather is. I'm in a better financial situation than I was in the past. And I don't mind if I purchase it and don't use it to its full capacity. On the flip side, um, some benefits include, of course, how nice the bag is. I am amazed by the craftsmanship, by how beautiful this is. I love that it goes with so many outfits. Um, I could wear it in many different ways. I could hold it as a top handle. I could carry it sideways like this. Um, or I could even do crossbody, even though I don't really go with, for that option because it does look a bit bulky sideways. Um, and I just love how subtle it is. And having some wear and tear is not bad either. It adds more character to the bag. But right now, being so new, I feel like I should at least baby it for a little bit before I start, um, before I start causing damage to it. So yeah, that was my review. I'm trying to just get a lot of thoughts in in the last few minutes because the sun is going down soon and I won't have this beautiful natural lighting anymore. If there's any questions that have, have been answered, um, leave a comment down below and then I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. Anyways, have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye!